Okay, well, the housing crisis in LA is leading to some unprecedented action. That's right. Renters in one apartment building want the city to use eminent domain to buy it to help keep the rents low. A vote to start the process of taking over the Hillside Villa apartments in Chinatown could happen tomorrow. And KCAL 9 political reporter Tom Waite is live at the building tonight to explain what's happening there. Hi, Leslie and Juan. Well, here's why this is all unfolding. Years ago, the city gave loans to a number of people building, constructing buildings in L.A. in order to get them to provide lower cost housing. Well, those agreements are now expiring, and so these landlords can raise the rents, and that's exactly what's happening in the building in question. This is the only place that I recognize as home. Leslie Hernandez has lived in the Hillside Villa apartments in Chinatown for 30 years. And for decades, the rents here were protected by an agreement made when the building was constructed. But in 2020, that agreement expired, and now the landlord is raising rents. A lot of our tenants, our rent was anywhere between 900 to like $1,200. Um, and now they're basically looking at 26 more 20, than 26 20. rents these neighbors say they cannot afford it is devastating because a lot of us here are honestly we're not able to afford it um so it's basically an eviction even if the city can help the residents at hillside villa this is the tip of the iceberg it is kind of unprecedented but it's not unprecedented in the sense that just recently we did eminent domain for the airport uh, out there in inglewood they did it for the stadium it's typically used around for stadiums and then infrastructure like freeways and other other large facilities. And so it's what's unprecedented in this case is that it's being used for affordable housing. Residents here say action is needed now and in the future. 30 years ago, we built about 10,000 units of affordable housing. These covenants are running out over the next five to 10 years. And if we don't cover these next 10,000 units, then we're you know, we're not going to make any progress. Residents here are looking to the city for action. Friday, the city council is scheduled to vote on a motion that could start a process which would use eminent domain to buy the building from the owner, which would allow city officials to keep the rents here lower. The building is located in L.A. City Councilman Gil Cedillo's district. The city needs to take take a responsibility and pr protect the, you know, the affordable housing. And so far, they're not doing that. We're going to continue fighting. We're not going to accept no as an answer. Thomas Botts is the landlord, and we are told by uh, folks connected with the building that, that the, he has said he has no intention of selling the building. We did reach out to him tonight. His uh, person that we spoke with said that he could not comment. The LA Times has also reported that he has no intention of selling. Reporting live in Chinatown, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL 9 News. Huh.